Hello traders and welcome to the NinjaTrader 8 features video. In this video, we're going to go ahead and go over the market analyzer display. Before we begin, I must remind you that trading does carry significant risk. And all information in this video is provided for educational purposes only and is not an offer or recommendation to trade future stocks, options, or forex. So here we have the market analyzer here. And this is easily accessed by going into your control panel, going to new, and then selecting market analyzer. The market analyzer window open, you can easily include whatever market that you want to go ahead and view. You can go ahead and simply type it in here, and it'll go ahead and populate here. At this point, you can click on it, left click, and drag it to whichever column that you'd like, or whichever category that you prefer to see this in. You can also right click and go into Add Instruments and view any of your recent markets here. You can also go to your instrument list and go ahead and click select all, or you can go into search. Otherwise, just go ahead and click right here into the screen and go ahead and type in your market. If you right click again, you can add a blank row, add a label row, remove a row, set up alerts, set up columns, auto sort, row filter, either have this always on top, show the tabs along the bottom, export the data here you can find print share and you can if you have a tool loaded here you can also reload the ninja script or put in your own templates here under properties you have a myriad of functions here to go through so auto sort and within 10 seconds you can go ahead and update that here if you like so every 10 seconds this will go ahead and auto sort the label text row alignment you can see is towards the center but you can have it off to the left or the right. You can change the tab name down here. You can change the background here. So for the label, I went ahead and the label row background, I changed it to a cyan color here. You can change any other uh, colors here. And once you're done, you can go ahead and hit OK. Now to add a label row, what you want to go ahead and do is right click, go into Add Label Row. It'll go ahead and put this one in here. Go ahead and double click there. And you can put in whatever you like here. Once you're done, hit enter. And you can go ahead and start dragging markets in here as well. You can delete a row by simply clicking on it, left clicking and then right clicking, and then remove row. You can also simply click on the row and hit the delete button. With the tabs up here, at the, or the columns up here at the top here, you can sort by instrument, as you can see here. Now it will go ahead and put some of your markets in here, so always important to go ahead and sort first, and then go ahead and put your markets where you'd like. You can sort by any of these columns here as well. You can also right click and filter a row here if you'd like. You can set up alerts, so if a market meets your criteria, you can go ahead and go into the alerts tab and set up the alert so you're alerted right away. Under columns here, you can go through and customize what you want to see under an instrument, the color, if it's visible. You can put special conditions in here so it only shows you data when it meets those conditions or it's filtered in a certain way. Can label it differently however you'd like. You can go ahead and put indicators in here. So if you have an indicator, for instance, you have an indicator here, and you can go through the indicator and put your specific indicator on here. And once you go ahead and hit OK, we'll go ahead and load that indicator on here as well. So it gives you that indicator's value. At that point here, when you see the indicator loaded, right click and go back into columns and again make any adjustments within the indicator that you like under cell and filter here you can go ahead and give it a different color for instance if it meets or exceeds a number you can go ahead and have it highlighted here for you as well very convenient very easy to do here you also have a total feature so if you right click and go to properties you can go to show total row Go ahead and click OK. And so put a total up here. It'll show you how many contracts you have 
within a market. To use the total row, go ahead and, for instance, I put position size here. I'm going to right click and go into columns. And under position size, go ahead and show in total row. And what this will do is add up your position and show you exactly how long or short or how many contracts do you have, uh, long or short, within a particular position under total.